In today's video, we are going to take a look at a potentially significant buying opportunity shaping up on the dollar CAD. I'll also give you guys an update on the DXY and the reclaim that we talked about yesterday. All right, guys, so I'm still not feeling 100%, but hopefully you can hear me okay. Uh, but you know what? The markets are open again. So here we are. It is what it is. I will do my best to get through this. Uh, now, first of all, if you guys enjoy these videos, it really does mean a lot to me when you guys subscribe to the channel. So please do that right now. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon for notifications, and don't forget to smash that like button. And if you have time, please leave a comment. I really love it when you guys do those things. Um, these videos do take some time to make, so I really appreciate it when you guys show your support. Okay, so looking at the dollar CAD two week time frame, this is what we've discussed for, for a while now, for months really, where this market has formed this massive equidistant channel going all the way back here to 2015. So you can see where the dollar CAD is coming off of uh, channel support down here, carving these higher lows. However, it hasn't really carved higher highs because of that macro resistance that we've talked about. But what you can notice here is that we do have, again, the market coming up here, making higher lows. So that's why I've been relatively bullish overall, right? Longer term on this pair. Now, one thing that you might remember at the end of 2023, we were talking about this trend line off of the low from back here in 2021. All right, so this is a very well-defined trend line. And you can see where we did get the breakdown here at the end of 2023. Now, there are a couple reasons though why I am very uh, skeptical of this. And in fact, there's three reasons. So the first one is that we saw the DXY reclaim 102 yesterday. And we'll talk about that in a moment. The second one is going to be that anytime you see, looking here at the daily time frame, anytime you see a market, just do this, right? Where we get, you get the breakdown and an immediate retest here with very little white space in between. You have to be careful with that because that could be indicative of a fake out. Okay, now I'll tell you what the market has to do to reclaim that, but the third reason why I am very skeptical about this breakdown that we saw at the end of 2023 is, and I've mentioned this before, but a lot of times at the end of a quarter, at the end of a year, you get a lot of administratively driven moves versus conviction driven moves. What I mean by that is that at the end of the year, a lot of institutions are closing out their books. Right. So this move right here is not necessarily or might not be conviction driven as much as it is administrative. Right. Those institutions are closing out their books. So you get moves like this. Right. Now, there's no guarantee of that because, again, the market right now is sitting at resistance. So for all we know, the dollar CAD could just do this over the coming days and sell off, come back down here toward these lows and continue lower. Right. So there's no confirmation that this is bullish. However, based on those reasons I just discussed, I am looking for a potential reclaim up here at 1.338. Um, but again, this is not confirmed. I really have to stress that because I don't want to see people buying through here and coming back and saying that I led them wrong, right? Because this is not a buy. I mean, you can even see right now where the market is starting to come off of this high here. Okay, but given what we're seeing from the DXY, from the euro, from the pound, et cetera, um, so far this week, I am looking for a potential reclaim from the dollar CAD. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about what this market has to do to set up the bullish narrative. So in order to confirm a reclaim here or a fake out, the market has to, first of all, reclaim that 2021 trend line. Okay, so this is the level right here in question today. So you can see where yesterday closed just below it. Today has spiked above it. However, the daily close is going to be key. So wherever this market closes at 5 p.m. Eastern today in relation to this level, is going to potentially be significant. Now, the higher the better, right? If the market closes a few pips above it, that's not going to be a confirmed break. I wanna see something up here very convincing. And furthermore, the second step, okay, the second step of this uh, setup here is going to be 1.338, right? So this area back here, we've got this low, we've got these closing prices through here, this little pivot. So this area up here, this entire area is currently resistance, okay? This is resistance. You do not want to be buying through here, in my opinion. But at the same time, as I mentioned, I don't want to be a seller here, given what we're seeing from the DXY so far. Okay, so first step is going to be to secure a daily close above this level. Second step is going to be to secure a daily close above 1.338. If we can get that and the market starts trading up here, especially a weekly close above this area, right above this area down here, then that would confirm a fake out down here and likely set up the dollar CAD for a run at this area through here, this low, right around 1.348, potentially this area up here around 136. Okay, so that would be a bullish scenario for the dollar cat. And the reason I'm looking for this 
you know, apart from the DXY, what it's doing so far this week is that reclaims like that are incredibly high probability trades. Okay. It's kind of my bread and butter uh, when it comes to trading, just because I know that the odds are in my favor if we do get a confirmed fake out here from the dollar cat. And obviously the bigger picture, if we were to get a reclaim of this area and this down here becomes one big fake out, then we're looking at potentially over the coming weeks, you know, move back here toward these highs. But we'll have to wait and see what happens here. Again, this area is going to be resistance for now for the dollar CAD. All right, so let's take a look now at the DXY. I'll give you guys an update there. And again, if you guys are enjoying this content, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and also click that bell icon for notifications. So looking at the DXY, now this might be a little bit confusing for you guys because if you saw yesterday's video, you know that the market was closing up here, right? So this candle that you see on the daily time frame, this is not correct. So this is the trading view feed and this candle actually closed up here in this area. Okay. Well above 102. So this is very deceiving because if you look at any other DXY feed, you will see that the market closed up here, not down here. Okay. So this is very deceiving. Um, so, so far we've had a daily close above 102 and that is a bullish reclaim here for the DXY. Okay. So knowing that, knowing that the DXY is reclaiming some of these areas, you can see where it is. Uh, so far battling with this 10260 level that we've talked about as well. So this, in my opinion, is going to be the one to get above today. If we see it close up here in a convincing manner, this area flips to support. We're looking at the 2023 open and potentially 10420. Now, this is obviously going to impact pairs like the dollar CAD. If we continue to see the DXY strengthen, then that is going to bode well for something like the dollar CAD where we're looking for a reclaim above 1.333 and potentially 1.338. Okay, so you put those two things together, right? And we have, again, a potentially bullish scenario here for this pair, as long as it closes up here and as long as the DXY stays strong and stays above 102. All right, so just to kind of wrap up again, this area is going to be resistance here for the dollar CAD, make no mistake about it, but a reclaim up here in this area this week would confirm the fake out and likely send this pair higher for a potentially significant long opportunity here in early 2024. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope it helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon for notifications. Don't forget too, to claim your 70% off lifetime access to VIP. Use the discount link in the description below for access. Trade well out there, guys, and I will talk to you again tomorrow.